my people, wonder shall never end. Hmm. You know, some people may not know the value of what they have until they finally lose it and they will be fighting lost battle. Hmm. Let's just hope that this will not happen here, my people. According to information reaching us, allegedly, they said Quinomi have been crying bitterly over what the guards did to the young pastor that proposed to her on her uh, at the first birthday. According to the information, uh -huh, I want to remind you that these are all alleged information, okay? I do not live in the palace. I am just a blogger. As I see, I'm on social media and I saw the share I'm going to give you now. Uh -huh. Always bear that in mind. Anytime you're on this channel or on my page, just know that what you are listening to, they are all alleged. Alleged. They are not for stand information. Okay. Uh, and please subscribe to my channel. You're yeah, welcome back to my channel. Okay. Subscribe to my channel and give my video a thumbs up. And share this video. Okay, guys. They said uh, the young pastor that proposed to Quinomi on her 31st birthday, they said her name is a Ademiju. Ademiju, yes. His name, sorry. Uh -huh. He's a U.S.-based pastor who owns churches uh, scattered all over the world. They said the guy is stinkingly rich. Very, very rich. Her mother, too, they say is also a prophetess that is based in Lagos. Now, these people, they said they were passing. They wanted to come and they check on Queen Naomi. People that know the words of Queen Naomi, they wanted to come and check on her and see how she's faring. You know, considering all that have been going on since. They, they said, when they came, the guards, I told you the other day, they said allegedly that the only of you first sent four guards to the palace, uh, to Queen Naomi's house in Akure. So they have been there. So when this uh, pastor came to say hi to Queen Naomi, they said she came with her mom. His mom, why am I even using her? her? <laughs> so they say he came with his mom. And normally when they come, they will come, uh, he will hon his uh, car and they will open the gate for him. But on this occasion, they said he hon and hon and hon, yet they did not open for him. Now he came down from his car to find out what the problem is. Only for one of the guards to come to him and tell him to turn his car and get out of this place. And they said the manner they told him that is not uh, acceptable at all. And he was like, why? Why would he go? Does it mean that this family doesn't know him again? And he was like, he wants to find out what is happening. Is Queen Naomi aware of this? They said, while he was still on it, one of them came to push him. And when the mother noticed what was going on, they said the mother came down from the car and warned them that if they should do anything to his son, that he is going to f uh, record everything and share it on social media so that people will see the kind of humiliation that uh, the king and his boys are causing to uh, his son and the queen Naomi. They say at that point, that was when the other guy withdrew. He did not touch the guy again, but they, they insisted that he would not uh, go inside there, not alone, driving his car inside. And when he noticed that uh, power have changed hand, they said he enters his car and uh, started making calls. Then from the information we had, they said it's like he got... Uh, he called Queen Naomi on phone and the letter met in church. You know, that was where he narrated everything that happened to Queen Naomi. And they said ever since then, Queen Naomi had been crying, asking Kabiesi, what is this? What have I done? Is it a crime to have accepted to marry you? Is it a crime to say yes to you? I hope you promise to love me till eternity. What is happening? They said she had been crying and crying and crying. Then a lot of people are saying, from where I saw this message, a lot of people are saying that why would a pastor be fighting for another woman's, another man's husband, uh, woman, another man's wife? That only of you have not divorced Queen Naomi officially. So he doesn't have any right whatsoever to fight for Queen Naomi. Yes, he doesn't have it. But come to think of it, as long as there is no divorce paper anywhere, there is no legal dissolution of marriage. He, he doesn't have the right to fight for Queen Naomi. I mean, as much as uh, 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 they said, among all the men that have been coming to seek for Queen Naomi's had the marriage, that he is the only one that Queen Naomi chose. He is the only one that have been there for her. 
They said their relationship is uh, is as old as a year plus now, you know. And he thought it it, it would be the right time to propose to Quinomi. And had it been that Quinomi accepted uh, the proposal, maybe they would have joined force together to fight for Quinomi's freedom from Oni of Ife. But that is if that is going to be possible. So right now they said the king no send anybody. He said anyone that goes closer to Quinomi will have to fight fight him. My people, they say, no, be smart, you know. If not that the mother threatened these people that if they do anyhow, they go see anyhow. They would have maybe pushed the guy down, beat him blue black. <laughs> hey, but that would be bringing bad name to the king. If it is true, if all of these gist are, are, are true, because like I told you, I don't know if it is true or not. They are all alleged. As I hear them, that's why I carry them, can't give on you know. So I can't just tell if it is true or not. But if it is true, it's an insult on the king. Oh, seriously, Kabiesi. Why is it that they don't want to fix Queen Naomi? You don't want to let her go. That is, would I call it wickedness? I don't know. I don't know, but I don't like it. And I'm sure if uh, somebody is doing it to Princess Diola or Princess Adewa Miwa, or even this new one that Toby have given birth to, Kabiesi will not take it. Seriously. And if you know that thing that you will not take from people, don't do it to people. Quinomi is someone's daughter, in as much as she's not for a, a, a daughter of a king. Because I'm sure if Quinomi is a daughter of a, one of these big oba, all of these things wouldn't have been happening. Yes, the king wouldn't even dare mess, him, mess her up the way she, he is doing. He wouldn't even dare. Even if he marries another person, he must make sure that she is okay. Yes, but because she's not from the royal uh, class... Because she's not a daughter of an Oba, because she's not a daughter of a Tinubu, every day was goes. For almost two years now, she has been out of her marriage, and you don't want to let her go. For what now? It's unfair now. It's unfair. It's unfair. Mm, it's unfair. Anyways, that is if it is true. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know what to say. At this point, uh, the only thing I, I should advise is let Kwenomi wait until June. Maybe after June, the king is unable to do anything. It's high time she take it serious and uh, seek for her freedom. Yes, and by that time, a lot of people will bear her witness that she have waited and waited and waited. Even though some people will still tell her, okay, give him more time, give him more time. But let him just wait till June. After June, if nothing happened, let her... She, let me tell you, this social media is very powerful. Very, very powerful. Unless you don't know the uh, how... You can use it to get what you want. Anyways, let me rest my case for now. And uh, like I told you, they are all alleged information. Tell me what you think about it on the comment section. And please share this video. Subscribe to my channel. Follow my page if you're watching me from Facebook. And share this video. I love you guys. Bye for now.